We're out on the fifth hole today at Willow Oaks Country Club. We're going to talk about bunker construction, but as you can see, be, besides bunker construction, we have plenty of other things that are happening on this hole. As you can see, we have an uh, operator from Landscapes that's using a box blade. Box blade is a machine and a device that takes out the imperfections or the, the rutting and the humps that you'd find on uh, a hole or a fairway or a rough, preparing it for sod or seed, what other means that you want to do for applying grass to your golf course. As you can see, I'm in the fairway bunker on number five. Landscapes has already cut in the trench lines that's going to be used for the drain pipe, stone for the drainage in the bunker. Some people might call these smile drains. They're placed in the bunker to capture water at strategic locations to inhibit runoff where you have erosion, where the sand rolls down off of the face of a bunker, where you have too little sand on a face or on a slope and too much down in the bottom. Now this has all been prepped, they've cleaned out the majority of the stones, rocks and other materials. They're awaiting the fabric liner that needs to be placed in here, which we'll see at number four. Uh, behind me to my left, the irrigation crew is installing a mist system. This mist system will be around every bunker. This is going to help with the um, quality of turf that we have around the bunkers. But the second key that will be with these mist systems around the bunkers will be able to maintain a better moisture content in the sand. So it's better, it's, it's going to be more playable, more consistent as we go through the year. So again, it's just another bonus, another way that we're ensuring that the quality of this golf course is going to meet the expectations of the membership. We have now moved to the green side bunkers on number four after being at number five and explaining the uh, ways to construct a bunker. We're now in a, a bunker or sand trap that has a geotextile fabric placed in the bottom of it to keep contaminants from the working from the bottom up into the sand contaminating it. Uh, there are several different trade names, uh, for example, sand dam or sand trap or two of them that you could use uh, in order to uh, keep your sand in place in the bunker and also to keep it uh, contamination free. We are using sand trapper in this bunker. But as you can see in the construction, this liner goes over the entire bottom of the bunker. It also goes down into the trenches that have been created for the drain pipe and the stone. This is going to inhibit any foreign materials coming up even underneath the drain pipe and the stone up into the sand to keep the sand as clean as possible. Uh, this uh, trench is eight inches wide and the fabric's placed down the bottom and it's adhered in place by uh, sod pins or sod staples. All the seams have been put down so they won't come up as players hit out of these bunkers. Once the pipe is, or the drain pipe is placed into the bunker, we're going to put stone over top of that. We're going to put a product called an Inca mat, which is a, a, a plastic mesh that we're going to sit on top of the stone down into the trench to keep the stone in place. Therefore, it won't get mixed up with the sand and come up and interfere with the golfer's ability to play a shot. Again, we're uh, going to every measure possible to ensure that these bunkers are made correctly and they are extremely playable, will be safe, even though they are a hazard, they'll be safe to play in the coming year. Today is a very exciting day for Willow Oaks Country Club. As you can see, I'm standing by our new drive mechanism for our pump station. Just a minute ago, you saw some black pipe. This is our main line coming out of the quarry. It comes and feeds into this device. This pipe is known as HDPE, or high density polyethylene. 
it's very pliable but almost indestructible. We had to use this particular pipe to come up through the treacherous area of the quarry to get up to our pump station location. The HDP pipe attaches to what's called the Z pipe or this greenish blue metal pipe that actually is in the form of a Z. The water comes from the quarry with, with pumps that are pumping approximately 1600 GPM or gallons per minute. Comes up the HDPE pipe, moves up through this bluish green Z pipe into this unit we call a Y strainer. This Y strainer is a device that takes out material solids out of the water so they're not uh, translocated through the irrigation system. It'll take sand, it'll take small pebbles and fines out of it so the water is clear as it goes through the system so it doesn't plug up any of the sprinkler heads or does any damage to any of the materials out on the golf course. So the water moves through this pipe into what we call the Y strainer which is nothing more than a big sieve. Continues through this pipe through the system here, the drive mechanism and then goes out the Z-pipe on the other end, out into the golf course. Landscapes is in the process right now of digging the main trench line that goes from the pump station out to the course where they have the main line they brought up between number two, in behind the green on number nine, now headed this direction up to number 10 within one day of attaching the system together and ready to pump water.